the report has two parts addressing the two main issues we were asked to investigate the first volume of the report details numerous efforts emanating from russia to influence the election this volume includes a discussion of the trump campaign's response to this activity as well as our conclusion that there was insufficient evidence to charge a broader conspiracy and in the second volume the report describes the results and analysis of our obstruction of justice investigation involving the president the order appointing me special counsel authorized us to investigate actions that could obstruct the investigation we conducted that investigation and we kept the office of the acting attorney general apprised of the progress of our work and as set forth in the report after that investigation if we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime we would have said so we did not however make a determination as to whether the president did commit a crime the introduction to the volume two of our report explains that decision it explains that under long-standing department policy a president president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office that is unconstitutional even if the charge is kept under seal and hidden from public view that too is prohibited 